Something as simple as freedom of speech used to be something that most people from across party lines could agree was important. It's not the case anymore. We have the Democrat elite and their partners in the propaganda media and big tech who are threatened by a free people and a free society and doing all that they can to shut down our open marketplace of ideas, the public and virtual town squares, anywhere that we can debate our positions, sometimes with that fiery debate without fear of retribution or censorship. They're trying to take away our Second Amendment rights, our rights to defend ourselves and our loved ones, and our right to serve as a check on the power of a tyrannical government. They've made it very clear through the Biden-Harris administration, the ATF is relentlessly trying to push rule after rule, circumventing the People's House in Congress to turn law-abiding gun owners like ourselves into criminals. They are discriminating against people of faith, especially Christians, arresting peaceful pro-life protesters, trying to remove God from every facet of our public life, and as we are seeing most recently, bending over backward, trying to placate pro-Hamas Islamist protesters, either because they are Islamist apologists themselves or they're afraid of being called Islamophobes and turning a blind eye to the ever-escalating levels of anti-Semitic attacks. These Democrat elite continue to violate our Fourth Amendment rights, our right to privacy and protection against warrantless search and surveillance, defending gross violations of our civil liberties by the secret FISA court in Section 702, supporting Department of Justice's weaponization of law enforcement against the Biden-Harris administration's political opponents.